The thoughts and ideas expressed today are real. I would ask you to listen carefully, folks, because the jokes are over. This is for the hard bastard reporting on location. The Laughing Ogre! This is your ever-loving blue-eyed ogre bringing you your news on Saturday, March 18th, 2017. Reporting from the Sun newspaper, debt collector Donald Trump claims Germany owes the U.S. and NATO vast sums of money for defense of Europe against Russia. Despite running a $234 billion budget surplus, Germany just spent 1.23% of its GDP, while debt-laden UK coughs up the required 2%. Today, folks, I will be shrinking down a bit to show you a few documents. As we see here, this is a list of the United States Army installations in Germany, leaving out Marine Corps, Air Force, or Navy installations, which there may be few of the latter. I see a list that stretches on to 37 installations in Germany alone. These bases are paying rent on German soil. The servicemen there buy soap, toothpaste, dishes, hand towels, food, cars, motorcycles. The United States government pays their rent if they live off base. This represents millions of dollars, I say without proof in hand. To the average person that would look, I would say it represents billions of dollars to the German government. What is Trump's answer? I have inside information from the United States Air Force that tells me that Spangdalem, Germany would not exist if not for the servicemen that go there and women to spend their money. If it weren't for this, there would be no jewelry shops. There would be no oil chain shops, no McDonald's, no Burger King, Spangdalem. There would be nothing but a desert, a barren wasteland of nothing. Thanks to the United States government, that is not the case until recent developments seem to suggest that the Spangdalem Air Force base, home of, I do believe, the 52nd Air Force Wing and Europe is housed. I would say one thing to you, Angela Merkel. Donald Trump shook your hand on film twice, on camera twice that I seen myself. As an American citizen, I join hands with all other Americans. I say to you, we have problems of our own, Germany. If Great Britain is willing to pay her share, we demand that you pay your share also. Mr. Trump was elected office because we, the American people, would like to see change. And we don't want you reaching your hands down into our pockets for our change. There's no way that we will continue to fund Germany the way we have by show of our military might and with our beloved servicemen spending their hard-earned dollar in your country. I ask you, Brits, stand up for the Brexit. It's time that you said we will not pay our share and your share, Germany. It's time that we all draw our attention to the mother island of England that even now is sending her troops abroad to protect Europe as we speak. Folks, I ask that you delve into this deeper. And if you do have any questions, unlike the bull dunk MSN, you can always leave them in the comments. And now I must say, this is your ever-loving blue-eyed ogre reporting from somewhere in the vast unknown.